Okay, this video is officially part three of the position versus time graph series. And this video, we're gonna to put together the constant velocities and the speeding ups and the slowing downs and see if we can put it all together into one graph. And you can see we basically have the same uh, idea for the graphs, except now we have positive positions and we have negative positions and this is zero. So whenever we're on this side, we're, we have a negative position and whenever we're on this side, we have, we're in the, po uh, excuse me, this side is the positive positions, and this side down here is the negative position. And then we have time, so along this axis right here. And we have to remember that it's still motion in one dimension. All we're doing is kind of moving along this axis right here. You can kind of think of moving up and down along this axis. And then it's drawn out, or the graph is kind of drawn out in that direction because of time. Now, this is position versus time. What's the most important thing to remember about the position versus time graph? The most important thing to remember is that the slope of the lines on this graph, let's say it all together, the slope equals the velocity. Okay, so it's very important that you remember slope equals velocity. And that is what will help you very much to solve these problems. Now, we're going to fill in the table here. And this S is for slope, this is for velocity, and this is for direction. And you can kind of remember that, or you should remember, that because the slope is the velocity and the sign of the velocity is the direction, that all three of these will be the same as long as we're talking about kind of quantitatively positive negatives and, and zeros. All right? So let's look up here at section A. You can see this line has no slope and therefore it has no velocity, and therefore it's not really moving, so we can't say that it has a direction, so we're just gonna put a big zero in there for that one. Now, what about this A stands for accelerating? So we wanna know, is it accelerating, yes or no? Now, if it's accelerating, that means it would have to be changing its speed, which would mean it have to be speeding up or slowing down, which means it would have to have a curved line. You'll notice on this graph, there's straight lines, and there's curved lines. All this is a straight line, so it has a constant velocity. And if you have a constant velocity, therefore, you can have no acceleration. So therefore, it's no. And it, therefore, we want to ask ourselves, well, is it speeding up or slowing down, or is it constant? And it's constant. Now, some of this seems a little redundant, but I just want to kind of hammer the point home here with what the lines mean. So this one, obviously, is not moving at all. Now, when we go across B, you can see we're at position 4 meters, or plus 4 meters, and we're coming back to zero. We want to ask ourselves, what's the slope? Is it positive and negative, or is there no slope? This one should be pretty obvious by now, has a negative slope. That means our velocity is negative, and that means we're moving in the negative direction. But the slope is constant all the way across. So because the slope is constant, the velocity is constant, and therefore, once again, we're not accelerating. Okay, And in this one, we're not speeding up or slowing down because we have a constant slope, and the slope is the velocity, and that's constant like that. All right, now let's look at C. Now C, some people uh, you know, get a little confused when we go across this blue line. We just want to ask ourselves, we're going across the zero point, and now we're moving with all negative positions. But once again, this, what is the slope? Well, the slope is still negative. We're still moving in the negative direction. And because the slope is constant, that means the velocity is constant, and that means there's no acceleration. And because the slope is constant, the velocity is constant, and that, that means we're not speeding up, we're slowing down. Okay, so let's just look really quick at B and C. What it means is we're going with the same speed in the same direction, and we're always moving in the negative direction. Here we're coming from four, and we're moving back towards zero, that's the negative direction, and then we're at zero, and we're moving towards negative four, and that's still in negative direction, and we're doing that at a constant speed all the way across B and C. And if we know these points, as I showed you earlier, we, we, we know the coordinates for these points. Now, I don't have times written down on the graph, but we could actually calculate what the velocity is across that section, okay? All right, let's go on to D. Now, this one obviously looks a little different. It's sloping up. So now we've stopped and we've turned around and we're going back in the positive direction, but the slope is constant, okay? So the slope is constant, it's positive, but it is constant, so there's no acceleration. And then four, we're not speeding up or slowing down, so that's constant. 
Okay, now let's look across E and F. Now you should notice that these are curved lines. So their velocities, their slopes are not constant. The slope of this section is changing and the slope of this section is changing. So we know we're gonna be accelerating. So we could put yes right here for now, but let's just go through it step by step. All right, what is the slope of this line? Now we draw a tangent line right along here. I'd recommend in class you could put your pencil down on your paper and lay it down right there. You notice the slope of that tangent line is positive. So the slope is positive, the velocity is positive, and we're going in the positive direction. Now in this case, because we know that the slope is changing and our velocity is changing, okay, our velocity is changing, we know in this case that we are accelerating. All right, you remember this one also has a positive slope, but it's a straight line. There's no changing of the velocity, so the velocity is constant here. This one is also positive, but you can see the slope is changing, so therefore the velocity is changing. That's the difference between D and E, is one is accelerating and one is not. Now what's happening to the slope? We kind of start here and you can kind of see over time the slope flattens out, so that means we call that slowing down. Okay? Now let F, the very last one here, the slope in this case is changing, right? So, um, and that means that our velocity is going to be changing, but let's see if we can figure out the sign of the slope. The tangent line would go right along here, touch that curve one place. That has a negative slope, which means we have a negative velocity, which means we're going in the negative direction. And are we accelerating? Well, curved line on a position versus time graph means we are accelerating. You should kind of recognize that. That's automatically yes. All right, and now we are flat up here and we're getting steeper, so that means that our, we are going to be speeding up because the slope <clears throat> is increasing. All right, so that's speeding up. All right, so that's basically it. There are kind of, on the position versus time graph, there's two kinds of lines, I would say. There's the straight line, which has a constant velocity, and there's a curved line, which has a changing velocity. Constant velocity is no acceleration. Changing uh, velocity means that we are accelerating. All right, so that's the way to look at them and then just look at the slopes and be true to the slope and the slope will tell you what's going on because the slope is the velocity and the sign of the slope is the sign of the velocity and the sign of the velocity is the direction once again. All right, just like that slope, velocity, direction. Okay, thank you.